Who's right? This got our attention. Violent crime in New Mexico has decreased by 2% in New Mexico from 2009 to 2014. It's decreased. One more time. Violent crime in New Mexico has decreased by 2%. The most powerful man in the state Senate said if you take Albuquerque out of the mix. Violent crime has decreased by 13% in New Mexico from 2009 to 2014. Those statements from Michael Sanchez were surprising because for months we've been hearing and reporting. New Mexico is number two in violent crimes in the United States of America. The FBI statistics coming out showing that we are the second most violent state in the nation per capita. So I went to find Senator Sanchez in Santa Fe for clarification. His staff showed us FBI numbers they say cover 2009 through 2014. I respect uh, the Attorney General. I expect, uh, respect the U.S. Attorney's Office. I'm not sure what figures they're using or not. FBI. Well, we use the FBI figures as well, so I, I don't know where there may be a mistake. The feds gave us their most recent stats comparing murders, sex assaults, aggravated assaults, and robberies in 2013 and 2014. Look at Santa Fe, a spike of more than 400 percent. Some places did see a drop, like Las Cruces and Taos. But the most telling number in 2014, the feds say New Mexico's violent crime rate was 67 percent higher than the national average. And the feds tell me a report coming out this week will show Albuquerque's murder rate jumped 53 percent from 2014 to 2015. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin. Also new tonight.